Seth Widener here. My daughter had to make a Newton scooter for school. Here it is. Stay tuned, we'll show you how she made it. The material used for this project were scrap pieces of quarter inch plywood, a piece of quarter inch dowel rod, some rubber bands, a piece of string. After coming up with a simple design, we drew it out on a square piece of quarter inch plywood, taped two pieces together, and cut it out on the scroll saw. She did most of the cutting and drilling by herself, and we did end up making a few design changes along the way. The big pulley in the middle is made of three different circles, two larger ones on the outsides and a smaller one in the middle. They were glued together with the quarter inch hole used in the middle to line them up. She then drilled a hole each side of the center axis. These are holes for the rubber bands to pass through, and then they go over the axle for the center pulley. We also put these three holes in the big pulley for the middle. Here she's dry fitting everything on the first attempt. She used a disposable drinking straw as a spacer. We ended up replacing that with a hard plastic straw. She drilled the holes for the axles slightly larger than a quarter inch, and then used washers as spacers to keep the wheels from rubbing on the body of the car. Here she's dry fitting two braces to go between the two body sides. We ended up adding a third one as you'll see later, just because the rubber bands seem to put a lot of force on the center of that body. She has assembled and disassembled this many times, trying different rubber band configurations. At one point we had two rubber bands on each side. Uh, we ended up using only one rubber band on each side and that seemed to be the best with uh, three full rotations of the center pulley. And this rod here is through an ex extra hole that we added just to hold the tension on the, on the pulley and allow her to keep her hands free while she winds the string around the axle as seen here. And here's one of our first test runs. As you'll see it didn't quite go as far as it could, didn't unwind all the way. But this is when we determined that we had a problem with the disposable straws because they were being crushed and forced under the center pulley. Here she decided to add the third support piece. She's using the original holes to line it up while she tapes the pieces together. And here's when Dad said, don't you think you want to clamp that down? And she said no. Just a little bit? Yep. Okay. Want to clamp it to the table? Uh, no, I think I can do it. Yep, I want to clamp it. <laughs> so this time we're clamping it. <laughs> Maybe this will work a little better. <laughs> and here it is with the three support pieces holding the two body sides together. She has it all glued together with some wood glue. You can see the plastic straw pieces holding the center pulley in the middle. Assembly one more time. We did cut a couple extra wheels as you can see there. She tried a few different methods to add the rubber bands. She tried using a pencil. Here she's using an Allen wrench. She ended up using a paper clip. She had an issue with the rubber bands breaking on her after three attempts. So we it did take them apart one more time and tried filing and sanding the holes a little bit just to try and make it flow a little smoother. Here's a few pictures of final assembly. We did, did test it a few more times and then she painted it. After painting it, she did have a couple of issues. Had to take the axles back out and re-sand them because she had too much paint on them and it wasn't rolling very freely. But as you can see here, it easily went 15 feet. Her assignment, it had to go 5 feet. Here she's wrapping the string around the axle. She wraps it over itself a few times to hold it and then winds it up. That way the string will pull free when it gets to the end. 
Then she does three full revolutions of the big pulley in the middle with rubber bands and puts the stick in there to hold it steady. Then takes the string and puts it in a little notch we cut in the side of the wheel. We ended up tying a little knot on the end of the string because it pulled out a few times. And here it goes. This is me actually playing with it going down the hall just because I wanted to try it. Finally she painted it this nice bright color and then with black she added some musical symbols and it works.